We had our fourth child. I thought, four kids? I fucking know what's going on. I've done this three times already. Two of them are mine. Not sure about the other one. <laughs> but I knew, I was like, okay, we've done this three times. Four times, I got the fucking drill. I know, things are gonna be good. This is gonna be a nice, easy labor. Not a fucking nice, easy labor. <laughs> My wife had three epidurals. <laughs> Wait for the fucking punchline, at least for fuck's sake. <laughs> My wife had three epidurals. On the fourth one, she didn't get an epidural. <laughs> I was in the labor ward, right? And men don't get any credit in the labor ward. It's all the focus of the woman. Very fucking selfish, right? And to be honest with you, I don't even think the nurses should have striked because midwives are just like personal trainers. The same fucking language, you're doing brilliantly, keep pushing, four more, don't forget to breathe. You're gonna lo lose a load of weight here in a second. You may shit yourself, but it's very natural. But they give her so many compliments. You're brilliant. You're a little star. You're so fucking brave. I'm going to make a plaque about you. Well done, girl. You're brilliant. No one ever says, and you're very good as well. No one does it. <laughs> we're, we're ignored. We're put into the corner like a fucking a coat stand. We're just here like that. <laughs> we want me to hold your hat. Okay, fair play. Yeah. And they always put us up by the head, at least they do that. They put us up by the woman's head, that's the thing. Do you know what I mean? They put us, they leave us up there, you know what I mean? And they try, they're very patronizing. They give you jobs, but the jobs are very patronizing. They're going, oh, could you go get the slippers? <laughs> do, would you be, be a big good boy there now? Go get the slippers. <laughs> you push a human being out of your gee, but will you get the slippers? <laughs> two of them, two feet. Very good, fair play to yeah. <laughs> Fucking tick hunt. Why is he in the car park? The slippers! <laughs> this is the job I was given. Your station now, what you're in charge of, is the bro. You're in charge of her bro. Okay? I was like, okay. Okay. Hang on a second there, I'll Google bro. Hang on a second. <laughs> And she was like, just dab it. Dab. I was like. <laughs> she was like, keep dabbing. <laughs> She's like, that's not how you do it. <laughs> then I knew. Because I've been there three times before, I knew it was time for the epidural. Because my wife started to make the noise of the epidural. <laughs> I was like, I never knew the hospital was this close to the docks at all. Where's the... Is there a ship coming in? Is there? Is there... I think it's a cruise liner. <laughs> I said to the midwife, I was like, hey, hey, nurse woman, get the epidural thing for her. She needs the epidural now. She's like, she's too fast. I was like, she's too. <laughs> That's wife, or get the fucking drugs, you mad bitch. <laughs> My wife's getting more attention. She goes, ah, ah, ah. Uh, uh, uh. I was like, it's Morse cold. She said, get the fucking epidural! <laughs> Finally, the nurse went to the phone, picked up the phone, dialed a number. Hello? H hi. Yeah, yeah, it's Siobhan here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, room seven. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've got a ship coming into dock. Yeah, I do, yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thanks, Sheila Love. Okay, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, 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 
And she turned to us and she said, no. <laughs> and I said, what? And she said, no. And my wife said, <laughs> I said, what do you mean, no? She said, uh, the anesthesiologist is actually in theater at the moment. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. And I went into what I believe is what every man goes into, and it's fucking husband mode. <laughs> and I pushed you one into the corner, and I said, listen to me now. <laughs> you overqualified fucking personal trainer. <laughs> My wife is lying on that bed, pushing something out of her body, a human being out of a place that she sometimes says, ow, oh, when I touch. And you're telling me that the only thing that's going to relieve that pain, you're saying no. Because the anesthesiologist is in theater. I don't care if she's watching fucking Le Mis <laughs> or Cats. But you send a taxi to that fucking theater and you tell her, get out and get down. What theater is open at quarter past two on a fucking Sunday morning? 